Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. So, um, I'm going to make this quick because there's a gentleman that's coming back to catch the bus and I kind of don't want him to uh, hear me talking and everything. So, um, I'm going to talk about what drew me to Roman polytheism and this is going to be a pretty, um, not a really lengthy video, but it's going to be a good length. So I was interested in Roman polytheism about nine years ago, close to ten years ago, when I was busy looking at all the different forms of Reconstructionism that was appearing um, around that time. Cometicism was pretty, you know, um, it wasn't young, it was kind of like middle. And you had, I was looking at um, Hellenism and Heathenism and all these different types of Reconstructionism. Well, then I discovered Roman polytheism, and I thought it was really a cool concept, a really, a really wonderful concept of people that were um, venerating and honoring the deities, especially in Italy, where you have a lot of them. I mean, not like a, a ton, a ton, a ton, but you have a good number of people that are in Italy that are venerating uh, these deities and putting up with bullshit doing it. Um, so it was interesting that uh, this had happened. And so I decided to give it a try and see how I liked it. And I really didn't have much knowledge about Roman ritual. I just basically did what I felt was right. Um, I didn't even know you're supposed to pray, supposed to give an offering to the Lars and the maids. I did not know that. I did not know about um, about what a alarm looked like. I didn't know anything. So I tried that for about a month and I just felt like I didn't have enough information or knowledge to properly practice Roman polytheism. So I basically put it on the back burner. Nowadays, um, looking back at it and looking to it now, there is now a ton of photographs of Roman altars, both modern and ancient. Um, there's people that sell alarms. There are people that sell those fi little figurines. I mean, they're like, it's so different than it was like nearly 10 years ago. So that is a huge <laughs> difference between uh, then and now. So, um, so I have come to this strike conclusion about ritual that if I set one up and I print it out and I use that as a foundation for my Roman practice that I should pretty be, I should be okay and then I could just like basically, you know, change a little bit this and a little bit of that um, for the holidays. So. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight, is writing up my daily Roman ritual, and then of course, um, you know, like for the Ides and for the nuns, write a little ritual for that and um, everything. But, um, yeah, so things happen, things change, and I still, I for years I was still interested in Roman religion, I just chose to follow paths that already had lots of established writing, a lot of established rituals and um, everything. But now that I had a taste of established uh, Roman ritual, uh, rituals that have been written by cultists, um, I really feel like I'm a lot more um, confident about uh, about practicing it. And what I did last night was I actually washed this giant ultra cloth that is actually the perfect um, length for a head covering and I keep that next to my altar temporarily until I can get a plastic a bin for it and then it's going to go into it. Um, so I will be definitely be doing that uh, probably the first. Um, but yeah. So, uh, what I will actually be doing, uh, probably Saturday, I will actually be doing, I will actually be showing you my, uh, daily, uh, Roman ritual. 
and definitely I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna post it on uh, Roman reformist because I consider myself to be a Roman reformist instead of a Roman reconstructionist, and it'll be exciting to see what happens. And um, I was also thinking. I was going to do a new channel that's solely for my Roman rituals, but I decided against it. I already have a account that is a couple years old, and uh, one thing is, I'm not, I'm not doing the video for views or for subscribers. I kind of want people to see um, how I do it and um, everything. So. I look forward to sharing that on Saturday and everything, but um, yeah, I mean, I feel confident now that I can actually practice it and not look like a total idiot <laughs> and uh, all that stuff, so I think that's a big improvement, uh, definitely a big improvement, but um, I really like Hellenism and I really like, you know, Egyptian paganism and stuff, and it's really great that I can still, you know, so like leave an offering to the Egyptian gods, leave an offering to the you know, to the Norse gods and still be practicing um, Roman religion. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys around to next time. May Jupiter bless you. Bye.